What's up guys, this is Bulwark Atalasia here, or Bulwark for short, that's perfectly fine. Anyway, I wanted to go over a couple of ideas, a couple of concepts that are really important to know when it comes to improving your times overall, not only in Gran Turismo 7, but just in general. This is a concept that applies more so to the weaker tire compounds than the than the stronger ones like the racing tires, but it's still a concept that those tires follow absolutely to a T. It's actually two things. The first one I'm going to talk about is trail braking. And then the second one is going to be slipping. So I'm going to start out with trail braking as my first uh, as my first talking point. Now, it's understood that most of your braking is done in a straight line, right? So that's like something that is mutually understood by a lot of people that are learning how to race. Just, you know, just one of those things do braking your straight line, slow and fast out, etc, etc. What if I told you that the fastest way to tra to uh, brake in a corner would be to trail off of, it, off of the brake pedal as you're rotating the car into the corner. That's what's called trail braking, so check this out. If I get here, step down the fourth, slowly trail off the brake, let the car slide in, and just slowly roll on like that. It's like a very gentle, precise move. That would be trail braking in the most literal sense, but there is a lot more to it than that. A lot of it comes down to weight transfer, which brings me into my next talking point, which is slip angle. Slip angle is the idea of being on the edge of traction, but still having complete control over the car. The car is still accelerating regardless. It almost feels like the car is gliding through the corner. That is what's called the slip angle of your traction. That's the slip angle of your tires. It's a concept that takes a lot of practice, a lot of getting used to. So for example here, we're going to go ahead and rotate into the corner like that. Trail brake here. Just let it go. Just let it go. Just let it slide through the corner. Now, that was a pretty bad example because the exit speed wasn't as fast as I would hope, but that's the general idea is to have that amount of control over your car where you can let it slide a little bit and then just ease out of the corners. That's being in the slip angle when it comes to cornering. Especially useful for weaker tires like comfort tires, sports tires, etc. It's especially effective whenever you're dealing with a mid-engine or a rear-engine car, like a Toyota MR2, Porsche 911, etc., etc., Honda NSX. Once you get used to this idea of letting the car slide out a little bit and just, just kind of rolling on the throttle smoothly and just letting the car just do its thing, that's being in the slip angle. It's one of those things, it takes a lot of practice, especially on a wheel. I don't know how I don't know how controller players have it. It may be a little easier for them, I'm not sure. I haven't used a controller in a while. But the idea is to just let the car do its thing. Just point and shoot. That is a uh, that's an old technique in motorcycle racing, it's just called point and shoot. And it also applies to car racing as well so I'm actually gonna try a hot lap here I haven't done this track in a while like seriously so we're gonna get to turn one here I'm gonna try to break it down gently calmly gonna get up here into fifth and then trail breaking again ease off nice and smoothly Get to dive into the corner, start rolling on the throttle, help it rotate, and we're out. Clean. Step on the brakes just a little bit just to help the car turn in, roll on the throttle. And you'll notice I'm just very barely touching the brake pedal. Just, just enough to shift the weight forward just a little bit to help that rear end step out. And we're going to trail off again. 
Karuti. Just nice and smooth, just like that. Like, the car, the tires should be screaming to a degree. They should be screaming in agony. But you're not breaking traction. You're not overheating them. You're just barely on the edge of their traction. Just barely. Like, they've lost traction just enough to help the car glide through the corner. That's being in the slip angle. So we're near the end of this of this hot lap here. And again, I'm just going to go over the techniques one by one here. So... Up here at the 50 mark, we're going to trail off, roll on the throttle gently, slowly, nice and smoothly, just like that. Lost a little bit of time there because my braking point was a little off, but you get the idea. Actually, this time is going to be right about where my first time was. Maybe. I'm not quitting yet. Look rotate, just like that. There we go. There's our time. But yeah, that's trail braking and slip angle. Just a quick little breakdown. I hope you enjoyed it. There's that. So, yeah, that's about it. Just one of those little things I wanted to show. I wanted to show some newcomers. Just like, yeah, yeah, this is a thing that exists. Kind of cool. It's not a need to know, but it's definitely a useful to know later down the line. Like, once you start to get comfortable with being on that edge of control, it is very useful in improving your times. So, yeah, that's about it. See ya.